We've all been there, waiting patiently at some traffic lights when someone, normally a youth, pulls up next to you on a moped. They rev their engine, your ears bleed from the high-pitched whine, but you think, I could so take you in a race. The lights change, they scream away like a hornet set free from a jam jar, and you maybe change your mind, thinking that perhaps today is not the day to prove that a bike is as fast as a crap moped. But today is that day. It's a bike versus crap moped challenge, which is faster. To find out, we've come to GCN's Theatre of Dreams, our test track up here in a desolate, windswept part of the UK. All right, well, it is windy. Um, I have brought my bike, a super bike, no less, and I'm ready to roll. We're just waiting on the arrival of our crap moped. Punctual as always. What time do you set off to get here? Uh, only 8.30. What, yesterday? Or 8.30 AD? Don't start taking the mick already, Si, just because you are jealous. This is quite the piece of engineering. It's like 60 years old now, but it still works like a dream. That is quite impressive, Dan. Right, the premise today, mate, is a simple one. We will ride around GCN's Theatre of Dreams as fast as possible, quick as time wins. Mm. And then we just see how much I win by, I guess. Right, I just need to warm it up a little bit more. Now, Dan, I would have said we need to respect the speed limits, obviously, on this race, but there's no chance of you breaking them, so I think we'll be fine. I did we? notice there's a 50 mile an hour limit on the main road there. I'm going to try and stick within that. Right, you do that, mate. You do look slightly nervous, I, probably knowing what you're up against. It's I excitement, guess. actually. I've been stuck on a TT bike for the last five races around here. This is the first time I've been on a road bike. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Okay. Don't over egg the pudding. Got a right to a set power now. Well, while Sai is pedaling furiously around on his superbike, so it's in the best time possible, I need to tell you about this. I've kept it quiet for about nine years now, but secretly I'm a motorcycle enthusiast. And since I bought this thing, well, quite frankly, it's been hard to keep me off it. That sense of freedom you get out on the open road, my long hair flowing in the wind when I get up enough speed on a descent, and that purr of the engine, there's really nothing quite like it. It's a rally wisp. Yes, Rally, as in the iconic bicycle manufacturer, who, like many back in the 60s, doubled up with mopeds. It's got a 49cc engine and it is pedal assist, like an e-bike way before its time. At one point, it possessed two horsepower. That is 1,491.4 watts. Although I've got a strong suspicion that at least one of those horses has since bolted. So this moped, a bit like its owner, is a bit past its best and living off former glories fictional former glories. Lordy's got two horsepower, he told me. Quite a bit more than me. That seemed quick. You're getting nervous. Well, I've only got to pull a throttle. I was going to go for a quick pint, but you were quicker than you said you were going to be. Lucky I didn't. Well, I went pretty hard. Yeah. There's a lot of stake here, mate, isn't there? This isn't just about this race. This is about every other race that happens at every set of traffic lights around the world. <laughs> You're doing it for the cyclists. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, about to do it for the Hornets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, come on. Right, Dan, are you ready, mate? Three. Whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't got her up and running yet. All oh, right. Three, me. Three, two, one, go.
I reckon at least both those horses are gone. Or if one is left, it's pretty knackered. Quite rashly. Never been ridden like this before. Almost in anger. Come on. Way tighter than going this far. Like lightning. Here he comes. He's in a full aero truck. He means business. Oh, the engine's just screaming for mercy. The engine sounds like what my legs felt like. Well done, Dan. Nailed it, mate. Oh, mate, you must be knackered after that. Oh. I tell you what, I'm pretty nervous right now. Be. Not only is the pride of all cyclists resting on my shoulders here, bragging rights, but also I've got a lot at stake personally, because if I get beaten by that, possibly the worst moped that of all time. That is not the worst moped of all time. It's great. It's really quite bad. To this Dan, day, it? it remains an icon of the swinging 60s. Well, I mean... There is that, I guess. Well, I'll but... tell you what, you'd better be nervous because I have never ridden this thing that hard before. Really? Here's going, son, yeah. Although there were points where the power did seem to come out of the bike ever so slightly. A bit like its owner, I guess. Thank you. And also points where fuel delivery didn't seem to be particularly consistent. A bit like its owner. Yes. But in general, she was plodding along great. I think she was going tickety-boo. Right, OK, come on then. Who's going first? Well, I'll go first because I went first. And part of the reason I'm nervous is that it was my slowest ever lap oh, around GTN's Theatre of Dreams. Yeah, I mean, unsurprising on a road bike instead of a TT bike. I did 13.51, so 41.5k an hour average speed. Ready for mine? 15.01. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Bike beats crap moped! Can't yes. believe it. I honestly thought I was going fast around there. Well, I've got a speedo, so I couldn't really tell, but it certainly mean, feels fast with all the vibration. I think that's it. Sometimes, you know, we pursue like tech because it's going to make us faster and actually having less tech so you feel faster. Mm. It's not a bad thing. So what's that? A minute and 10 seconds, isn't it? To be fair, I did put my winter tyres on, which has got a much higher rolling resistance than my summer. There's quite a lot missing from your rear winter tyres. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might need some new winter tyres soon. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Dan, as far as I can see it, mate, there's two very positive things to come out of this for you. Firstly... I look cool. Three positive things. <laughs> Firstly, uh, the rust means that actually you can't see all the mud on there, unlike my bike, which looks like it's just ridden Paru Bay. That is a good point. And it looks secondly, like a nice splash paint job, doesn't it? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, your time round there is still over a minute faster than Ollie Bridgewood's best time oh. on Strava. So, um, well, that's something, isn't it? So what's next then? Are we going to suit this thing up and have a rematch, or am I going to get a better moped? I think you might need to get a better moped, slightly mate. Slightly less crap moped. A slightly, yeah. Yeah, maybe we've just gone too crap this time. Um, bring it on, mate. I'm, I'm keen. All right. I'll come back here any day of the week to race you around this circuit. And if you get too fast, I'll bring some mates as well. All right. Well, I will go away, search a slightly better moped that's not too expensive, and I'll send you a text when I've got one. Excellent. Right, give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And uh, keep your eyes on eBay because that moped will be going on there very soon. All right. Whoa. <laughs> yeah.